More Model 3 video, Tesla service vehicles are going electric, Tesla Groman is taken care of, and Tesla Energy wins another huge contract. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 313 for October 20th, 2017. Yet again, I've got to start with Model 3 video. The folks at OC Detailing are at it again, and Joe is bringing us a pile of drive time with the car, more than any thus far. The best of it is the fact that we're seeing exactly how some of the car's systems work. Worth mentioning was Joe's comments on how cruise control and autopilot work. While we're going to ignore his issues with autopilot, as clearly the option was either not ordered or not enabled... He's got a legit beef with the mechanism to enable it. It would seem that the drive stock works to enable both cruise and autopilot. His complaint, and one I completely can understand, is that it would be super easy to work the stock wrong and end up in a different gear than expected. In fact, Joe said he did just that. Check out the video as this is unquestionably our best look at the car in action. Long a source of irony for Tesla has been the fact that it has had to send internal combustion engine vehicles as its service vehicles. Electrek is reporting to us that this is about to change. While speaking at an owner event in Amsterdam, John McNeil, president of Global Sales and Service, said it's developed a new service vehicle based on the Model X and Model S. Quote, We didn't think it was very cool to show up to fix an electric vehicle with a combustion engine van. It really bugged us. Some really savvy technicians on our team figured out how to retrofit Model X to fit all the tooling and parts needed to do service, end quote. Nearly exactly 100 episodes ago, in episode 212, I brought you the trouble Tesla was having with its automation arm in Germany. Tesla Groman employees were less than satisfied after the company took a new direction in supporting Tesla-only projects. Teslarati reports that all is now well in Germany. Workers will see a 30% increase that began on October 1st. They'll still reap the 10,000 euros worth of stock options and 1,000 euro bonus that were already negotiated back in April. The workers will reportedly pick up another 150 euros in their monthly salary as well. Tesla Groman's Uwe Herzig said, quote, We have developed our own remuneration structure in very pragmatic discussion, end quote. Lastly tonight, we're back to Electrek for our final story with batteries in Australia. But this isn't the Adelaide project. Tesla Energy has won another project in the country. Power Pack will be part of a project from Australia's Wind Lab in the Kennedy Energy Park in North Queensland. They issued a statement on the project saying, quote, Kennedy will consist of 43.2 megawatts wind, 15 megawatts AC single axis tracking solar, and 4 megawatt hours of lithium ion battery storage. The project will use 12 Vestas V136 3.6 megawatt turbines at a hub height of 132 meters, the largest wind turbines yet to be deployed in Australia. The lithium ion storage will be provided by Tesla. The project will be constructed under a joint construction contract managed by Vestas and Quanta. The project will take a little over 12 months to construct and is expected to be fully operational by the end of 2018. The project will create more than 100 local jobs during construction. End quote. Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Much love, as usual, to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Quindici, John Rich, and Joey Boots for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Be sure to show your love on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet, or use the show referral code ts.la slash jon four. 602 if you're in the market for a new Tesla. It's good for $1,000 off the car and free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. That's all for this week. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see everyone back here again next week. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.